Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm a little hyper. Just came back from seeing the Dixie Chicks, and the goosebumps are on the arm. I probably should be sleeping, but like a kid on Christmas morning, I can't. I'm too excited. The Dixie Chicks, Natalie, Marty, Emily, rode into town and did what they do best. They delivered a phenomenal show at Scotiabank Place. Now, this is my third time seeing them, and let me tell you, every single time just seems to get better and better and better. Now, the cool thing is, is that usually when an artist is touring, they're promoting a new album. The Dixie Chicks aren't promoting a new album. They're just reminding everybody that they're awesome. Hey, guess what, Dixie Chicks? I didn't need the reminder, but I'm still glad to see you. From songs like Taking the Long Way, to their wonderful cover of Landslide, to some of my personal favorites like Ready to Run, Mississippi, and of course my all-time favorite, Cowboy Take Me Away. The songs were in full force. In fact, the lady beside me was like, how do you know all these songs? I'm like, because I'm Keith Whittier, woman. I know good music. And when I say good music, I'm talking about the Dixie Chicks. I just love this group so much. Now, of course, they're, 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 they're not doing any touring in the United States right now, but I'll tell you something. The last time we really paid attention to the chicks in the States, of course, with the controversy that happened years ago, and when they rode off into the sunset after dominating the Grammys, and I'm talking record of the year, album of the year, song of the year, and I could be wrong, but I can't remember the last time a country artist dominated the Grammys the way they did. I was just like, respect, because that was phenomenal. There were people, there were naysayers who were coming down on the chicks for essentially having their own opinion about things. But in the end, they came out with a phenomenal uh, album, which was Taking the Long Way, and just dropped the mic on everybody. Now, this, this concert reminded us all that the Dixie Chicks are legitimate um, musical icons. They have, they have broken, the, like, I don't even want to say broken. Let's say they have shattered that glass ceiling. They have shown that women, female artists can be just as, uh, just as um, financial, just as just as um, bankable, if you will, as male artists. Because there was a time, and it wasn't that long ago, that the Dixie Chicks were riding high. And not just in terms of country music, but breaking through to mainstream as well. So much respect for them. So as far as this show is concerned, we were treated with a lot of different things. We had some kind of uh, kind of rocky numbers in terms of how they how they do Mississippi and, and Sin Wagon. We had the great uh, uh, bluegrass sound. But at the end of the day, it was them at their core. There is a saying that goes around that I'm very fond of that says, black don't crack. And let me tell you something, the Dixie Chicks might have some Trinidadian in them because it doesn't seem like they age either. If you have the chance to go and see the Dixie Chicks live, you want to go there because they will not disappoint. I don't care if you're 15 or if you're 70 or if you're 80 or anywhere else in between, you are going to enjoy this show. The Dixie Chicks are phenomenal. I'm so glad I had the chance to see them tonight. They could come back next week and I'd go again. I still get my hair done. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a chance to see the Dixie Chicks, let me know what you think. Or even if you just want to reach out to me. I don't care. I'll talk to you. CFL underscore fan on Twitter. Facebook.com slash Weedy Whittier and Weedy Whittier.com. Thank you so much for checking this out. And by the way, little P.S., how amazing was it tonight, if you were at the show, when Goodbye Earl came on? I mean, here is this, here is this phenomenal song about, hey, listen, we're strong women. We're not going to take nonsense from this idiot Earl who's trying to, like, you know, send, uh, send people to the hospital. And I love the video background with, like, Chris Brown and, like, OJ. It's, like, message sent. Love it. Anyways, Dixie Chicks, love you. Please come back soon. You are always welcome in the 613. If you have extra time, come over to my house. I do an awesome barbecue. Thanks so much. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith, and we'll talk to you soon.